Hey, what's up everyone? I'm just coming in real quick to just chat. Today I'm going to be teaching Zumba in the circuit. Yes, yeah, so I'm on my way in now. I just wanted to give you guys a quick shout out, a quick hello. Um, this week, I'm sorry I haven't been staying on top of my videos, but I have been teaching non-stop this whole week. So, um, I just wanted to come in real quick and speak to everyone about um, um, sticking to what you love to do, sticking to your passion. And I say that because um, my 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 journey in this field, in this um, health and fitness field, has not been easy. It has not been a straight path. It has been I had been faced with a lot of obstacles, a lot of roadblocks, and there there were times where I wanted to give up. Where I was like, forget this. It doesn't pay enough. I I can just make money doing something else and I can make money doing something else but I won't be happy so that's what I came in to talk about just sticking to if you know there's something that you really want to do and you're very passionate about it you're not going to be perfect or an expert at it at first you're going to have to learn how to master that field or you know or you might have obstacles that you just have to overcome I just say stick with it because believe me when I first started this journey I got so many no's when I first became a Zumba instructor so many places turned me down it wasn't even funny as a matter of fact the place that I'm going to teach at now I this was the very first place it's, um, it's curves it's curves and it's zoom in a circuit this was the very very first place that I taught at and honestly when the first time I taught it was I, I even though I love Zumba the experience was not good I felt like I felt insecure I felt like the students did not like me and I felt and they kept asking for different requests that wasn't even Zumba related and I just felt like they was being so critical of me. Okay, that was when I first started. Um, a friend of mine asked me to sub her class for her. And I was like, okay, I can do this. I can do this. Even though this is the first place I went to and I had such a bad response. But I'm going to sub for her because she needs me. I subbed and they loved it. And now they request for me to come back. Isn't that something? Now they actually request for me to come back. And at first, it was a horrible experience that turned into something that was really good. So, all I can say, guys, is stick to it. Don't give up. Okay? I gotta go teach this class. <laughs> anyway, peace.